Oh, it looks good to see this again. I honestly feel like I'm going out on a little adventure. It has been so long since one, I've had the motorcycle on the road, and two, since I've hauled the trailer. Now, I've got about three or 400 kilometers under my belt just on the bike now that I've got it fixed. But I decided since, uh, well, we haven't been getting a lot of days in a row that are dry, but today it's gonna be dry and sunny and I need to get out on a practice run. No cooler, cause I'm not going out overnight. I'm just gonna go take a nice long run and get a feel for hauling the trailer again. Now it's got everything in it except for the cooler on top. So I'm carrying a full load. And right now, yeah, it's feeling okay. It's feeling okay. I've decided to take a run down around the Port of Port Peninsula. It's a favorite ride of mine, and it'll certainly test me with hills and everything else. Now, Google Maps told me that it would be about a five and a half hour ride, about 380 so kilometers. And, uh, well, I didn't get on the road till about 11.30. I didn't get home till 9.30. So it became a 10 hour day, a bit epic, and ended up being closer to 440 kilometers because, well, I did a little side trip. About 45 minutes out, I usually replace the uh, battery in my helmet camera. I'm not gonna have any stops for a bit, so this is just a good place to do that. And then out on the highway and then Turn off to Stephenville. Now, here's a little note. If you were going from Corner Brook to catch the nighttime ferry in Port Basque, it's about a eh, two hour ride, just over 200 kilometers, and you've got to be down there for 9.30. So if you're leaving Corner Brook much earlier than that, it's not a problem to go down around the port of port. That's a pretty good bump. That bump might haunt me in the next day. But anyway, we get uh, to bypass Stephenville. Start seeing a bit of ocean. And very soon, we're actually getting ready to get on the peninsula itself. Now normally, I would turn left here. But uh, we want to go down to look at the church. Our Lady of Mercy is the largest wooden Catholic church in the province of Newfoundland. It's an impressive structure. I think it was started in uh, 1914. Anyway, they also have a, a fall fair down here, or they used to. I think it hasn't been going on the last couple of years, but no, today I just want to do a quick stop. And then we're off.
here's where the loop really starts. We'll be coming out that road to the left in probably, oh, uh, far too many hours. Anyway, I think this is a good time to t pull over switch the camera. and switch the side the trailer cam is on because the ocean is going to be mostly on our right now. Although I've been around the port of port many times, I've never been down to Black Duck Brook. It's on a split of land that sticks way out into the ocean. I really don't know what to expect heading down this way. Google Maps says it's only a 30 minute ride and 23 kilometers. What Google Maps doesn't tell you is the last ten of it is dirt. Well, there's people living out here in Furman and neat rocks. Nice job. Okay, now it turns to the dirt. No, I'm not lost. <laughs> I know, I know exactly where I'm going, but I don't know where I'm going. Yep. Really. Oh, it doesn't get any worse than this. Okay. I've been meaning to come out here for a long time, so. trailer. Yep, works really well. But, uh, all right, we'll do it. Yep. Okay, great. I guess I didn't do much research. I really wasn't expecting this. Nope. Blue Beach is a small working fishing harbor and lots of summer camps out here too. I'm starting to think that uh, that's the rig I need for coming out here. The road is getting a little bit narrower and it's also getting to be a lot more rock than gravel.
must be pretty well the end of the road, eh? I'll just, I'll see if I can find enough room to turn around. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, at least I got this far. <laughs> I'm actually straight that way. You're a carver. Yep. I can, I can see it from here almost. It's really just rocky gravel where I can turn around. It looks like a lot of people, this was the end of the line for them too. Yeah, any further in from here, you're gonna be wanting to take a quad. Well, this certainly was an interesting little side trip. I'm really glad I came down. But now, I've got to go back. It's really good to hit the pavement again. Yep. Interesting little ride. Great little place to uh, discover. But now I better get back to my main ride. I'm not even halfway through my day and already I'm eating up the hours. Don't know if the camera's really picking this up, but there were seagulls sitting on the pavement for half the ride back. I kept on being a little bit afraid that I was going to end up, end up hitting one of them.
I get back to the main highway at Lourdes and like its French namesake, Lourdes has got a small grotto just outside the Catholic Church. I decide I stop, will stop there for just a, a minute for a quick photo and uh, to give thanks for getting through that dirt road. This also looks like a good place to, uh, to sort of break this video up. I'm only halfway through my day and I really don't want to produce a 30 minute video for you guys. So we're going to get back on the bike and we're going to continue this in the next video. Thank you very much for coming along. I hope you're a subscriber. Hit the notification bell. And yep, we'll see you with the rest of the Porta Port Peninsula really soon.